Hello and welcome to Stockwatch presented by me, Evan Lucas for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it should rely upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it should rely upon as any full advice at all. It is just general in nature only. A review of the calling numbers of Westpac and NAB. I want to put them together because the market reaction to what they delivered is quite interesting. Both of them delivered a fall in underlying cash earnings. Remember, unaudited because it's only a quarter number. Both of them between $1.2 and $1.5 billion. Both of them also showed that their delinquency, 90 days or more mortgage arrears, is rising and both see pressure and stress in their mortgage book. They are slightly different on a few things. Net interest margins, for instance, which we always look very closely, fell to 1.76 at Westpac. It's about 1.81 at NAB. So not a huge difference, but enough. And overall, NAB's business banking division continues to be probably the strongest out there. There's some slight differences. You then also look at Westpac with its overexposure to New South Wales. They are clearly very worried that the, despite the fact they've had good property price movement there, they do have the largest mortgage values there as well, and therefore they are a bit worried that their pressure could come even harder. However, and it is a big however, the market read it differently, and there's a reason for that. If you look at the outlook, yes, both of them said things are going to be tough, and yes, both expect increases in those bad and doubtful debt provisionings but they're not as high as the market expected. Cash earnings were 6% ahead for something like Westpac and about 4% ahead of what the market expected for NAB. That explains that jump. It also explains why at the moment, NAB and Westpac are on a bit of a tear. They are jettisoning ahead because it finally looks like Westpac is getting away from all of its own controversies that have happened over the last four to five years. And that explains the jump up in the market because despite those headline figures, the market is loving banks at the moment, which is quite an interesting thing when we've got a high interest rate, a falling issue around global outlook on economics, both here domestically as well, and that the housing market, despite it moving quite quickly, is starting to slow down in terms of loan growth. Watch that space. It's quite an interesting story.